Special shout out to my members and patrons Sam Medina, Matthew Hall, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, Madlo, The Hellraiser, Harrington, I Am Beast, Jelly Beams, Call Me Yumi, Jim Bones, MDS 84ZA, Bilalco, and Kilabunnies 264 for your amazing support. Members and patrons get shout outs on all my videos, get access to your private Discord channel, and access to my Seven SDI server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Seven Die Apocalypse Now mod. So I'm hoping my sound and everything isn't too bad. I think I should for this game at least. Keep it like this, because uh, for some reason my mic is super, super loud, but like I said in the last episode, there's something wrong with my mic. If I touch it, it stops working. <laughs> so now I don't want to mess with it too much and then have the sound not work on me again. I just checked the recording and my sound was working fine. So I don't want to mess with that right now and then lose out. Devil's machete, which is better. Okay, stamina cost and stuff on the machete is better. Uh, that's more for harvesting stuff, right? Technically, I should get rid of these and just stock up on all the first aid and first aid. Put the bandages and kits I can find. That way, we can have the machete over here for skinning and we can use this sword over here for just other stuff. Okay, so, uh, we've cleared out this PRI last time. Uh, as you guys know, for those of you that didn't catch it, we went um, fighting behemoths and stuff. I was wondering where they came through. I couldn't pass off the chance as resources next door. And then at the end, I was like, like ooh, there's a screamer. And it turns out it wasn't a normal screamer. It was a wandering horde screamer. Normal Screamer will spawn zombies, the Wandering Horde Screamer is a little bit different. Um, even if it screams, it won't do anything to you. Oops. Uh, it won't do anything to you because it's not a, a normal Screamer. But yeah, I heard the Screamer, went for it, and then turned out to be a massive Wandering Horde with our first Terminator, Behemoth, a ton of tough zombies. Uh, the amount of XP or, uh, no, XP, stamina and stuff we had to use just to survive was nuts. Okay, let me just loot this quickly. And then drop this. I need to actually go hunting for more of those blue stones. The more we have, the more we can sell them for. Before we even talk to the trader, we should probably see if we can't um, just invest some skill points. I might actually get more... I might be able to invest in more stuff right now that's going to help. We can already accept two rewards from the trader, which is awesome. Um... But yeah, if I can get to the three rewards as soon as possible, that's really, really going to help. Well, I think you have to max out that skill to be able to get that. The next one's just going to be more coins. Although, more coins, the more coins, the better. We need as much coin as possible right now. Because we're going to go and just buy all the ammo and gear and stuff we need. Uh, as soon as it turns day 19, that bunker on the map is going to reset. And we'll be able to buy Molotovs and stuff over there as well. I need to remember, even though we have Molotovs, the Horde Knight, we need the Mega Molotovs for Horde Knight. Um, but for now, though, I need to get back to the base. I'm actually thinking of doing the Builder Bros thing at night. Although, if there's too many tough zombies upstairs, I might have to jump down, jump up, jump down. J just surviving this wandering horde was insane. Now, trying to do Builder Bros at night in the city where zombies spawn. Ooh, it might be a little bit tough. Wait, we're gonna try it, though. If it's, if it's fun, it's fun. If it's challenging, it's entertaining. need more of those blue crystals, but I think I've gotten all the blue crystals in this area already. I need to go a little bit wider outside my comfort zone right now to get more. Should probably kill all the animals we see as well. Uh, was there a quest for animal killing? I don't th am, I, am I confusing this mod with something else again? For some reason, I feel like we are, we're supposed to kill as many animals as possible. Also, we have to be careful at night time of year. The more noise you make, the more attention you grab. Uh, and with all the wandering zombies and stuff in the area, you really don't want to grab the wrong attention. Okay, so let's see if we can't quickly make some concrete mix. Also, let's just get to the safety over here. Drugs, Skill points. Got it all. Okay, so we can go... No, we can't go. We need general perks 15. So one more point and I can go into general perks. But for now, let's see what we can do with our current general perks. If I can perhaps go and go into uh, more stamina or something like that. Stamina boost you can only get at survivalist class levels 3. So if I can get the survivalist class, I think, what am I right now? Level 1. So I need two books in this. And then we can actually go and invest over here as well. This gives you 25 more stamina to work with on this side. So I should probably see if I can't get the survivalist class up and running. Uh, especially since we are using so much stamina with the sword. The sword's awesome. The sword's amazing. Deal extra damage, reduce stamina usage. I need to up this one as well. General perks, my play level is too low, but the general perks is fine. And then over here, general, I'm 14 at the moment, that's fine. So I need to just level up right now to unlock more stamina usage and stuff. So if I get to here, the sword's going to do even less uh, stamina drain on me. 
Okay, and then deep cuts. What's this? Deal 10% more damage. You can flick up to three bleeding wounds on an enemy and a uh, power attack can uh, inflict two. Every attack refreshes the duration on bleeding. Enemies run 10% slower while bleeding. Hunt uh, unlocks hunting knife. So this does more damage, although do I really want to waste some points over here? I can go up to this one over here. Three points. It deals 30% more damage with a, with a, a blade. So yeah, we're definitely... Ooh, I forgot just now. It's two points per. That's expensive, Jean. Don't just go take stuff. Damn, okay. Uh, I wanted to do the hidden strike and stuff more as well. Although these are related to the class books themselves. So the more class books we can read right now, the more it's going to help us. Daring Adventure, I want to unlock the next one. Scavenger level 6. So we need to reach th uh, read three books for this one as well. That is locked. So let's quickly open that up. Every time I hear a pig, I don't know if it's a normal warthog or if it's going to be the Grace's Amazing. thing, the mini Grace. I hope you like your reward. Thank you and thank you. Any more jobs? I wonder if I should go for buried supplies. But the problem is, if tough zombies st uh, spawn in for this, because we can't do the one by one block trick in this mod. So digging, we'll actually have to go dig for it. You can get some coin if you're lucky. Uh, nah, 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 nah. If you finish two more jobs this week, if we had a proper shovel and we can dig way easier, well, we do have a steel shovel, but like stamina issues, all that stuff. If we had a proper, proper shovel, I'd actually attempt it. What is this? That bunny over there is a normal rabbit. Or it might be a hostile. And you be careful, the hostile bunnies can do some serious damage. But probably for the meat, I've just quickly gone and dealt with it. Okay, that is a no-no bar. Ooh, please, please, stone, stone, stone. And zero stone. Yay. Okay, so I need to heal and eat and just put everything away over here. Uh, we have so much loot, I need to now go and decide what to do with it. Block damage. That's what we actually needed for, the ratchet. The fact that it less, does less block damage, I don't know perhaps if it, No, it's not due to the mods, right? Yeah, the block damage goes down... Oh wait, wait, that's good. That means this one's block damage is higher by 10. I was about to say, how ah, the ratchet's supposed to be better. Why? What's, what's happening? What's wrong? Oh, I read a book that at night time I'm not encumbered. I need to see if I can't find more of those books. Okay, so for now we have all the mods on these that we need. Hmm, sword. I need a better level sword as well. And we have the plasma baton. Apparently this is really good too. I wonder if this shocks the zombies too, or it stuns them, or if it's just a normal baton. Oh, I just realized. Modify. We have a green one over here. Modify. Uh, iron breaker, thank you. Yeah, we just have to make sure we're constantly using the best of the best items over here. Uh, I also want to get rid of these bandages. And then move this machete, devil's machete, for skinning purposes. I think you're going to get uh, more uh, parts from the animals if you actually use the proper tool for it too. Okay, now we just have to go and sort this whole inventory. This thing over here, I want to try at least once. Um, because it's a level 74, so if you mod it, look at all the mods you can put on there. So yeah, it might be way, way, way better than the sword. I need you to uh, test first. So first things first, we have to put all this stuff away. And then I want to see what we can sell and make and all that stuff as well. Um... Double shapes, there you go. This one has shapes done and ammo done. Technically, I should run around with a shotgun because this you need during Horde Night. And I need to see, do we not have a proper uh, 762 weapon? I need something that can deal, uh, deal damage to all the night's uh, zombies. We only had the pipe baton or the pipe machine gun last time, this thing. And during Horde Night, it was not doing enough damage to those bears and stuff. So if I can make myself an AK, perhaps. Level 1. I'm going to have to go and spec into uh, machine gun crafting. Quality for guns. So if I can go up to about... Wait, that's player level 15. I can go very far into this and I can make my own AK. Do we have all the pieces required to make an AK? Auto rifle parts, auto rifle barrel. Um, AK receiver. AK parts, I think that's all, all we have. 
I think you can make your own parts as well, but you need a pe uh, you need a, a stink for it, right? I wonder if uh, is that the tier two or tier three? Okay, we can make it over here. Nice. I uh, just need to spec into that a bit, uh, but then again, the parts. Where do you make that? Also, yeah. You just need steel and you can make the uh, gun parts. If I can make myself an SM, uh, no, uh, M60. We have it unlocked as well. Nice. So, auto rifle parts, auto rifle barrel. It's the only thing that we don't have is the M60 part. We have the SMG part, AK part. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to uh, check with, uh, whether we can't find these parts then, or at least make them in time. If I can make myself a level uh, level 40 uh, M60 for Fortnite, we'll be able to at least deal with the bears. Okay, so for now, let's just go and sort everything over here, and then go to where we need to be. I should probably keep the shotgun on me for now. Yeah, this is my first proper shotgun, I just realized as well. This one over here was a crappy one, that's why I swapped to the automatic weapon. But if I have a proper, proper shotgun, we can actually perhaps take the heads off. Okay, so I have been a busy, busy bee. As you guys can see, it's almost morning at the back over there. Uh, I realized the water that we picked up, uh, the mineral water, gives you four energy boost. It gives you a lot of water as well, so I don't want to waste it. But yeah, four energy boost is a major, major win for us. I'm um, also trying to make a chem station, guys, because at the moment, to make ink, I'm going to show you guys this. To make ink, you have to have 80 paint. That's eight different dyes. But if you have the chem station, it's just four dyes. So that's only 40 ink, so it's already half the price. If you go for the advanced one, the advanced uh, chem station, that is two dye. But unfortunately, the advanced chem station is under something of a year. It's super, super far away. Let me just see. Tier 3 workbench, advanced chem station. Yeah, it's a year. So for this, we have to have engineer class level 6, which means we have to read two books. I thought I might actually be able to make one more book right now because we have the blue notes, we just don't have the ink. So I might have to go back to town and see if I can't clear the rest of that uh, clothing shop. Uh, but first things first, I want to make a chem station. Let me just see if I can make it over here as well. Also, uh, look at the slots, guys. Uh, look, it's waiting right over here. I realized we looted a cruiser handlebar and chassis. We had one level 63 battery and an engine and two wheels. So I was like, you know what? Let's make a cruiser. Now, that is actually a major win for us because we've been using the minibike. So, if, <laughs> if you check the stats between the two, the minibike is definitely way, way, way slower. Um, I don't know if which is faster, the cruiser or actual motorcycle, but now we have. So, I can actually go and sell these. We've got two of each. So, I can sell these back to the trader as uh, uh, along with these. And, yeah, I even bought, uh, bought one acid from the trader uh, as well because I only had four. So, now we can make the chem station. In one minute, yeah, as soon as we're back, that's going to be done. So we don't have to wait for that right now. Iron and stuff we want to put away. I want to put this over here in the mixer. But everything is more or less together. Um, With all of the cobble we have and with this, we should be able to actually make the rest of the base. I wonder if I shouldn't quickly focus on the base. Day 21 is getting closer and closer and closer. And I have not really been working on the horde base. So that kind of bothers me a little bit. Like, oh no, are we going to be done in time? Kind of a little bit. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a greenish color, but it's a nice bike. My favorite color is a blue. Or even blue with like a green mixture. That can also be very nice. Also, I bought four first aid kits from the trader for like 800 and something and two first aid bandages. But I need to see if I can't buy more. We need way more bandages right now. I just also realized I already upgraded this. Mm. I wanted to make this a very thin block, like the security gate. Because with the security gate block, the zombies do path over, but only one at a time. So especially with those pesky bears, those explosive bears, uh, if the block is nice and thin, you can knock them down easier too. I wonder if I shouldn't just go and destroy that. The problem is I'll already put resources into it, but I don't want to waste it. Since I put concrete into these blocks of bears, also one, it's going to take long to destroy. And two, I've already put all of that concrete in, so we can just as well leave it at that for now. We do want to make all of that concrete, so if a, a bear explodes, it's not going to destroy the whole thing. And then this over here, like I said, I want to make this less cheese by fixing it a bit. Um, we can make the plates extend all the way to that, that one over there. Take this out. Keep that one over there. Keep this one over here. Take this out and take those out. And then just connect the two to each other. So I'll, show, I'll, I'll explain that uh, there's going to be no hanging block, but that fall, this drop that they can do. It's still going to be there. 
basically it's gonna uh, it's gonna follow the same principle as this where they have to jump from one side to another but there's nothing hanging over here with this hanging uh, I, in the beginning obviously i was like oh as long as we just have a base i don't mind if it's hanging but now i'm like ooh, should i shouldn't i okay i should be able i want to keep this over here if I do this, will it be able to hold the weight if I take this away? Yeah, just slightly. I need to destroy this so it doesn't hang anymore. Um, yeah, this block over here needs to go. So basically, this is just going to be a plate. That's going to be connected to a block and they uh, and with a ramp. So they're going to run from the ramp onto the plate. And then they'll be able to... They'll, they're going to they're gonna path exactly the same. Although I should make it that uh, as soon as they pick up speed, they fall. So instead of a ramp, I should just keep it a normal block. That way they're more likely to fall down when they're running over here. I can also make this a lot wider as well. Because we want them to go in like droves to try and get over over here. So instead of three wide, we should probably make it four wide. Okay, do we have coffee? Because I need to get a little bit of stuff done right now. I need to be careful of more wandering hordes. Especially since we do get behemoths in there now. And especially screamers. It's been a while since I've seen a screamer, but you can never be too careful. Okay, so that cave's in right now. We don't need this. Oh, my stamina. Just realized my stamina was completely low right now. I also need food. Better food. We don't really have good food right now. And with the uh, dysentery chance in this mod, we have to be so careful with food. Okay, so I'm going to make this one wider. Like so. And at the back of the year, we go and place a full plate. It needs to be a pole plate. Uh, it's called a pole plate. There you go. So we're going to do that. This over here, uh, we're going to take this out and connect it to that one over there. So it's a lot of placing blocks and caving in and seeing what sticks and what doesn't. That's getting lifted over there. Okay, so now I need to remove this one over here. It's a shame that we can't use more power. I, I think if I took the other coffee-like thing that makes you run like you uh, took a Mega Crush, um, chopping down all of this would have been so much easier. <laughs> Wait, am I doing this right? Yeah, we want to remove this. I, I wanted to add as many chances for the zombies to fall as possible. Uh, but I don't like the fact that we have so many hanging blocks. This might just make it so the base caves in even easier. But at least it's going to be a legit base. It's not going to be boring to look at or anything like that. Actually, I had a guy watch my uh, watch Monday's episode of War of the Walkers. Boring! Uh, cheese base uh, is too easy. Uh, something about uh, my uh, War of the Walkers base being a cheese base. But technically it's not. Same with the, the, well, it is because it has one, this one has two hanging plates. My horde base in Wolf the Walker only has one. So all I have to do is follow the same principle that I'm doing right now. And then it's not cheese. Guys, to me, cheese is when a block hangs. A floating base, the zombies can't make it to you, that's a cheese base. This over here, even though it's not touching, it's next to each other, the zombies are clever enough to jump for it. That's not cheesing it, because they can make it over. Especially if you mess it up. <laughs> but they can make it over. So to me, that is not cheesing it. That's a legit base. Okay, they're going to come from that side. They have to jump up over there. So they're going to fall down. So this over here needs to be gone completely. Uh, can I make it up there? You be careful of all my stamina and fatigue getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. So when they jump, uh, run from over there. Yeah, when they run from over here, they're still going to fall down. And then over here, that just needs to be removed. This doesn't need to be removed, only this. Well, technically, that one is a half block, right? So let me just make sure. Yeah, okay, I need to destroy this one. But the rest of these, these pl uh, plates over here are going to stay here. Then this thing is fully not cheese because nothing's floating anymore. I know, guys, uh, I shouldn't let it bother me too much and all that stuff. But even for me, um, I'm, I'm not a fan of cheesing it, of making it too easy. Even with a mod as tough as this, where we struggle and we almost die countless times, I am not a fan of cheesing it. I'll rather go legit and die over and over and over and make a base that actually is solid and sound than make a base that is way, way, way too easy. Come on, Staggy, I need your meat. Come closer. I, oh, you know what? For meat purposes, I should probably be killing all the wildlife we're coming across. I haven't really been doing that, and we've seen so many animals come past us. 
So this, the reason I'm making this extend so far is because when they fall down, I don't want them running into that over there. So if they fall down over here, there's a chance of them going shoop and then hitting these blocks over here. The further they are away from that, the better for us right now. So I just need to replace this over here with, uh, with the plates as well, and then we should be good to go. Probably do this. It's going to be safe, and I don't have to worry about picking up blocks the whole time. Voila. Now I just have to make sure I do this, in case I have to get away from zombies. But yeah, this over here, I'm only going to destroy one, and then replace. Destroy one, and replace. Okay, so I just realized, um, yeah, I don't have, I, I had my 7.62 ammo still on me, and I have the shotgun. And yeah, we need more gunpowder to be able to go and make ourselves even more shotgun ammo, so let's just quickly place this down. Uh, yeah, that right there should be fine for now. So basically, we are making more... Well, I came here for the concrete mix because I want to do some work over there. Uh, I want to make sure we have enough locked. Let's quickly sell this stuff to the trader, though. It's getting a little bit in my way, and I need to make sure I can just grab the resources and dump it back into the boxes. So we do this. It feels oh, like I drank so one of those good. coffees just now because my you character is super fast. For that. It's a shame she doesn't sell stone because I really need some stone right now. Uh, we should also probably go and uh, pay a visit to that bunker. 1.9, yeah, why not? I need to make more shotgun shells. And then, do you sell some shotgun shells? Yes, you do. Why Thanks not? Me take care of you. Tell your the shotgun might need to not be the best shotgun, but at least it's better than a pipe machine gun, I think. Especially, you guys, I went and I put the burning, the flammable oil on there in this one. Um, ooh, where did I put the other blessed metal? I put it on the sword. Oh, 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 oh. I put the other blessed metal on this one. No, not there. Technically, I should silence my... Uh, I don't think you can have the silence on and the three extra shots. But where did I put my pipe machine gun? There. Modify, take that out. Modify, put that in. Now this gun's going to do more damage against the undead, which is what we need right now and what we want right now. Um, we have to go and make more shotgun shells. Thank you. I want to make sure we're actually able to uh, shoot the zombies. Imagine I face a zombie and then all of a sudden realized I don't have the right ammo and stuff. Okay, so to make inks over here now, oh, we just need the dyes, which means we have to go for that clothing store. But I first want to go and make some proper food over here. That's 17 that I have to lock and I can just grab all the food over here. Boom. It's so much easier than having to go back and forth and back and forth. And, okay, we can make blueberry pies. 17 of them. I think they fill us up really nicely, right? Grilled cheese. Okay, let's use the cheese over here. I can make hamburgers. Only three of them. I can make meat stews. 20. Obviously, I'm using all, all, all my resources and stuff right now, but that, I don't mind that too much. Because I need proper, proper, proper proper food right now. Do that. That should be enough fuel. And then the rest we can just back, dump back in over here. Okay, nice. So at least the food situation should be sorted soon. Um, and before we go to the clothing store, we can just click come back over here and make sure that we uh, grab the food. Because I am hungry right now and that's going to affect my max... Yep, yeah, my max stamina is going down. If you're hungry, your max stamina goes down. But if you drink water and stuff and get more wellness... Let me go back up. Is this a wandering horde right now? Yep, that's a wandering horde right now. Oh, they're actually coming for me. Oh, there's a ghost in there as well. Mmm, there's a ghost. If the stairs were done, I could have used my base. See That thing is creepy as hell. The ghost is going to be tough to kill. He's one of the tougher zombies. I can kill one at a time, that's all we need. I can just run into a boss right now, like a bear or something like that. It's gonna help us with the zombies as well. Don't get hit, John, don't get hit. If you break an armor or leg right now, you're dead. Yeah, ghost, stay there, stay there, stay there. Feral white. Let's kill you quick. Yeah, she died from bleeding, which is good. Now we just have to deal with him. Stamina, my max stamina is going down, unfortunately. 1,100 HP, and he's a ghost, so you can't see him that well. Come on, X-Files. Is it because he's a ghost that I can't hit him? What the hell? Crap, can't hit him at all because he's running zigzags as well. He's not running in a straight line. 
I wonder, is he gonna follow me up here if I do this? Please, no. Don't you dare. I need to bleed you, actually. Yeah, as long as you don't jump that. For some reason, he's not trying to jump it, so that's helping us. See, guys, he's so invisible. If you if you don't hear that... I see you. If you don't hear that whispering kind of creepy thing, you don't know he's there until it's too late. I was hoping they're not messing with my horde base right now. Where's that demo? He might have gone into the trade over. I need to be careful. Did I run out of the chunk and they despawned or something? Because there was definitely a demo in there and a cop in there as well. They must have gone into the trader now too, so I need to be careful of that. Crap, all of these guys are uh, feral. I need to do this so I can quickly drink some coffee. Oh, I need to try the nightmare and um, a weapon. I'm just afraid of running out of stamina if I do. <laughs> What I want to do is quickly do this, this. Oh wow! If I bleed them with this, and then knock them down with the the club, they'll die. If I can knock them down with the club, they'll bleed out on the floor. That might really come in handy. Are you guys feral? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so let's try this. I'm gonna bleed you and set you alight, and then do this to knock you down. And then while they're down, they're bleeding. You can do more power attacks and left clicks and stuff. It doesn't use too much stamina. This is a comedically uh, large... Hello, lady. Sledge. Up. Uh, be careful of, of our stamina. The Wandering Horde dispersed way too fast. Not just I mean like are they gone, I mean like also in the area, the wandering horde's gone. And they're also covering the whole area, so they're dispersed outwards just now. Yes, now you're bleeding. Come on, stamina. Ooh, there's a feral zombie behind me as well. That's not good. I wanna knock him down after he's ble he's bleeding, but he's not on fire anymore. Look how tough these guys are. We need way better weapons too. My shotgun might be able to take him down, but I don't want to make too much noise. Ooh, the moment he swung, I knew that was bad. Why did the Wandering Horde over here disappear? But these ones that are still part of the Wandering Horde did not disappear. I need to swing and take a step backward as I swing, because otherwise he's going to swing at me. Is this dude also a tough feral? Yeah, all of these guys are ferals. I think I wouldn't have had as much trouble as I'm doing now. Had I just played like Warrior or, or Survivalist even. This insanity is kicking my butt. Come on. Look at HPs as well. Crap. But I might get some sneak damage in there. The HPs are insanely high and then they're also feral and tough and number jacks and... Damn, man. Damn. Whoopsie. He's gonna hit me. <gasps> oh, he almost killed me just now. Four HP left. Four HP left. Woo. Okay, that was way too close. But I can't afford to, fa uh, to work here when these guys are still in the area, so I have to kill them. At least now that we've had a Wandering Horde, we don't have to worry about the next one. Tough businessman, so he's gonna be tough to take down as well. And then this dude over here. Feral zombie. Oh, man. So there are two more uh, of the Wandering Horde to take down. And there's bunnies all over. So let me kill. That might be a hostile bunny. Come on. Take a step forward. Take a step back. I need to remember to take it forward so he can actually lunge at me and back so he misses me. As long as I do that, we should be fine. Oof. Eee, my HP is way too low to get a shot from him right now. You know what? Oh, the cop's still- oh, they went around. The cop's still here. And that is a radiated cop as well, so the damage he can do... Yep, hit the tree, not me. Oh, 
Okay, had he exploded just now, I would have been dead. There's no way I would have been able to survive that um, that explosion. So I think if I actually go and mod out the nightmare, uh, the nightmare and club, it's gonna be even better. Uh, the fact that it didn't kill them too easily right now is because of the fact that it's not modded at all. But even not modded, it was doing quite a bit of damage just now too. So it might really be worth trying this weapon out. Now all I have to do is go and upgrade this. I hope I have enough concrete over here to finish this. I have to upgrade this whole pillar at least. Oh, I have to get some cobble at the base as well. And we are able to now pick these up without caving in. Or at least we should be able to. Uh, that is actually bad. That's wrong. I don't want to waste blocks right now. I mean, we have a hundred and something blocks, so we'll definitely be able to finish the staircase. But still, I don't want to waste blocks. I'm going to put on this side ladders. And I might even put like a, a curvy, worthy staircase. So if a bear falls down, it'll be able to climb up as well. I want to put stairs, but I wanna, don't, don't want to put it too close. Basically, if a bear falls down over there, it needs to be able to come over here, run up a staircase and get up. But the other zombies, I'm going to put a ladder over here so the zombies can go for the ladder. That should work out really well. Uh, technically, yeah, that's, yeah, I can actually place this over here. Nice. Okay, so uh, it wasn't too bad placing that uh, that shape uh, accidentally over here. I should probably go into the floor as well. It's a waste of blocks going into the floor. But if anything happens and a cop explodes uh, next to the dirt over here, you don't want him being able to make a hole in the dirt. You want, you want him to be uh, able to, if he de de destroys the dirt around, that this thing is still going to be standing over here. Okay, so I ran out of concrete mix, unfortunately. Uh, I was able to destroy one more destroyed block over there by the where the lumberjack was. Make myself some cobble and then repair as I upgrade over here. But ding, 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 no more concrete. Um, on the one hand, I should actually have a staircase from this side. Unless, what if I do this? We'll go a little bit uh, more out. And now I have to first go and upgrade this before I place any more blocks. Um, we're going to go out like this a little bit more. And then we're going to have a staircase coming down over here. And then it's going to have a stairs from there and there. So we're going to be able to come up this stairs and then go up there. So basically, when the zombies fall, there's going to be a staircase running this way. They're going to turn and they're going to be able to go over here. Then on this side, it's a small staircase and a bigger staircase. And on this side, again, small staircase, bigger staircase. I also want to put the ladders at the back for the zombies that prefer the ladders. Uh, I think the ladders will slow them down enough so they don't uh, do too much of a... They're not too much of a threat over here. Copy shape. Copy rotation. Yeah, 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 no, this is fine. I should leave it like that. Remember that I thought I uh, miscalculated. This side, um, let me just go and make it full as well. Technically, those blocks I need to replace with full blocks then. It doesn't matter, they're still going to path there. But I just hate the fact that there's a hole there now. So basically, the zombies are going to run from over here. They're going to either climb up a ladder or run up a staircase or a ladder over here. They're going to run and they're going to fall. The problem is if they're too fast, we have to make sure they start off slow. The faster they run, the more chance... Is this a normal bunny? Yeah. Um, the faster they start off, the more chance of them actually going and uh, making it over over here. Because if they're too fast, like, luckily when they fall there, they're already starting to go down. And then they hit their faces there. But nightmare speed, you might be able to run all the way over there to there if it's a long enough runway. So that's why I'm putting the stairs on this side so they have to turn. And on the ladder as well. They're, they're not running up the ladder. They're walking up the ladder and then running again. So they're going from a standstill to a movement. So guys, I'm going to put all this stuff away. Next episode, we have to go for the dyes. And, oh, look how fast this bike is. We have to go for the dyes. We need better gear. We need more ammo. All that stuff. Uh, so we're going to go into the town a bit. If you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Apocalypse Now Insanity. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members, patrons, and contributors for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.